Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Civil Engineering by Swavan. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics. In this video, I will explain you complete Primavera P6 software course details. I was released in our application Civil Engineering by Swavan application. The complete Primavera P6 software course is live now in Civil Engineering by Swavan application. You can download my application. The download link is available in the below description of this video. And in this class, I will explain you complete details about the offers which I am providing for the Primavera P6 software course and introduction to the Primavera P6 software course and what are the topics I am covering in the Primavera P6 software course. So let's start with offers which I am providing. So I was divided these offers into three categories. So in the first category of the students, the people, those who are comes under 1 to 10 registrations, I am providing the Primavera P6 software course for double one double nine rupees with one year validity. The complete software is also provided along with that I will give you the certification completion of the certification of the course for the Primavera P6 software course. This is the first category and second category will be of 11 students to 25 students. Under this category I am providing the uh, Primavera P6 software course for one four double nine rupees with uh, nine months validity. The second category will be of 1499 rupees and 9 months validity. Along with that, I will provide the free software for uh, free Primavera P6 software. Along with that, I will provide the certification also after completing your course. The third category will be starts from the 26th student. The For the third category student, the complete Primavera P6 course is available at 1999 rupees with only 6 months validity. Okay, I am providing only with 6 months validity. The complete software is also provided along with that I will provide the certification also. So this is, these are the offers I am providing for the Primavera P6 software course. So if you are on the complete course related to the Primavera P6 software, you can, you can enroll to our uh, Primavera P6 software course through the application. Apply the coupon course which is available inside the course. Otherwise it will show you the 6000 rupees for the complete course. The actual cost will be of 6000. So but I am providing under offer. More double one double nine rupees for the offer one and uh, one four double nine rupees for the offer two in the same process uh, one triple nine rupees for the offer three okay these are the offers i am providing in the primavera p6 software course now i will explain you basic introduction which is related to the primavera p6 software generally the primavera p6 software will be helps to give the scheduling of the project planning of the project cost management as well as the risk management for the project man for the construction project So these are the offers I am providing behalf of this uh, Primavera P6 software course. So if you are really want the course, you can uh, enroll to the course and you can watch the complete content which is related to the Primavera P6 software. So I was up to updated complete uh, real time projects, some six real time projects and I was updated and each and every concept with the introduction as well as the complete real time examples for the project management. So this is the end of this video. If you are having If you have any queries about the course, you can once pin me to my WhatsApp number so that I will give you the replace for the WhatsApp. Thank you for watching this video and if you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics. Thank you. We will see in the next class. So in that we are at Primavera P6 software course. Basic introduction which is related to Primavera P6 software course. And I will explain you what are the different topics I am covering in this Primavera P6 software course. Let's start with introduction part. So Primavera P6 software is generally used by the project management for controlling of the project according to the risk, according to the resources, according to the activities and according to the cost management. Generally for construction of any kind of the building, we have different types of the activities are there. Like you can consider it as works. Okay, like uh, let us consider excavation work and uh, filling work, construction of footing, construction of the foundation. Again, in the same process, we have different works are there, construction of the columns, construction of the slab for construction of the walls, construction of the uh, what we call plastering and uh, making of the painting as well as uh, finishing of the project. They have different types of the activities which are exist in that particular project. For making those activity in the real time projects, we need some resources, resources in the sense the persons which are required for that particular project, whether that persons are labor or non-labor or other resources. Like if you consider labor, machine work is there, 
for that particular reason we need to consider the machine for non labor let us consider materials okay and in the same process other equipment like uh, machineries like gcb we required and bulldozer sometime we required for the project construction of the buildings okay so in the same way we have to cons consider the cost also so if the project duration is more then the cost of the project will be more okay this is the direct relation and if the duration is less according to the consideration the cost of the project is also high okay so this is another relation but we have to consider the cost effective also in the planning of the project okay this primavera p6 software generally helps to execute the plans of the projects as well as the activities which we are considered for the project again in the same process resources allocation at the same time we can assume the uh, number of the days that is required for the project so initially in the primavera p6 software we will assume the baseline baseline is nothing but the assumptions let us consider a uh, footing work is there for the footing work approximately we will take 5 days or 7 days depends upon your consideration for big project let us consider it is having some uh, 500 yards for that particular 500 yards if you want to construct 20 columns it will take approximately 5 days or 6 days for the construction of the footing so this is the duration which is required for individual activities in the same process we have the individual activities is also there related to some construction of the columns and uh, construction of the slab and construction of the wall let us consider slab is there for construction of the slab approximately it will take one month along with the curing for the uh, scaffolding work it will take around one week and for uh, uh, concreting work it will take around two days and for the curing work it will be take approximately 20 days for the project 20 or 21 days so this is the basic assumptions we need to assume in the baseline after assuming the baseline so once the task is completed in the project management we need to update those tasks in primavera p6 software so that it will give you the complete idea regarding it what day the complete project is completing and how much task is required how much machinery is required and how much amount of the machine is required and how many days is re required for completing of that particular project this will be completely managed by project managers in each and every project so in order to complete the project in pre described time period we need to do the scheduling of the project scheduling is very much essential in construction of the project without the scheduling you may lead to increase the cost of the project so in order to reduce the cost of the project as well as the risk for the project we need to do the scheduling for every project so project scheduling can be done by using different kinds of the software so primavera p6 software is there and ms projects uh, is also there for scheduling of the project so in this course i am covering only the concepts related to the primavera p6 software course oracle primavera p6 software course generally helps to do the planning as well as the cost management risk management as well as the updating the schedule as per your considerations of the task in the project okay so now i will explain you what are the different types of the topics i will cover in this particular primavera p6 software course i will provide this pdf in the Uh, application also you can download that pdf for the contents i will show you the contents which i am covering in this particular course in the screen also you can check that complete contents okay you can download that pdf the pdf will be free for you so you can able to see the complete concepts which i was covered and step by step videos which are also available in our application so now i will explain you what are the topics i am covering in my primavera p6 software course in the primavera p6 software course initially first video will be related to complete installation process and downloading process of the primavera p6 software course and next one is related to concepts of eps eps is nothing but the enterprise project structure generally we will use in project management so we need to uh, do the eps initially before going to the project scheduling as well as creating of the project so the next concept will be related to examples which i was considered for eps creation eps1 eps2 examples and next one is related to obs creation and complete concepts which i will cover in obs structure and the basic examples i will consider at least two examples for the obs and how to create the obs for the different projects in the same process we have the creation of the project is there in the schedule as per our uh, consideration and concept of wbs wbs is very much important working breakdown structure the complete introduction part which is related to working breakdown structure is initially explained in our uh, application then after that i will move to creation of the wbs example 1 as well as the example 2 by using primavera p6 software in the same process next concept which is related to creation of the activities okay and next concept related to creation of the calendars calendars plays an important role in primavera p6 software 
so if you give the more holidays in the calendar then it will leads to increase the duration of the project okay we need to concentrate on the calendar also at the same time i will explain you columns editing in primavera p6 software and how to delete the activities and in the next class i will explain you dissolving of the activities and relationship between the activities how we give the relations between the activities for uh, successor as well as the predecessor in the project okay and the basic concepts related to prior predecessor as well as the successor will be covered in this particular video and next one which is related to activity networks activity networks is also important and constraints in primavera p6 software then after that i will explain you what do you mean by float and what how to consider it in primavera p6 software the next concept which is related to copying of the activities and relationship by using primavera p6 software the next concept i will explain in our uh, application is grouping of the primavera p6 software and uh, next one is related to sorting of the uh, activities in primavera p6 software course and next one will be related to how to apply the filters in primavera p6 software course next one is related to introduction to the resources and types of the resources and how to create the resources and how to assign those resources for the project and how to update the project and next one which is related to duration types which are exist in primavera p6 software and assigning the resources and activity codes introduction and how to create the activity codes and how to assign those activity codes in primavera p6 software then after that i will explain you defining of the baseline and updating of the project for one month so i was considered updating of the project for one month let us consider i was started my project on 1st of july so i was at uh, august 1st so i need to update the whatever the works till now i was covered for the project in the project updateation okay that is also important concept in primavera p6 software course and the next concept which is related to reviewing of the updates in primavera p6 software and how to export this particular primavera p6 software to another uh, softwares like ms project and excel how to export them and the next concept which is related to importing of the so files from uh, other software to primavera p p6 software and uh, renaming of the activities how to do the renaming of the activities in primavera p6 software and user interface which is related to the preferences in uh, primavera p6 software and admin preferences user interface in primavera p6 software course then after that i will explain you complete six projects basic six projects and i was consider real time projects for these six projects and how to consider the specifications for that particular projects and how to consider the scheduling of that particular project and how to consider the activities for the baseline and how to consider the duration and how to consider the obs and how to consider the eps and how to consider the relations and how to do that scheduling of the project for the five projects at least five projects i will explain five to six projects in the first one which is related to scheduling of single story building initially i will explain you the complete concepts related to the specification which i am considering in that particular single story building then after that i will explain you how to do the eps wbs obs relations and in the same process schedule then after that i will explain you complete scheduling of g place on duplex house by using primavera p6 software so next one which is related to complete scheduling of uh, g place to building by using primavera p6 software and then after that i will explain you complete scheduling of road project by using primavera p6 software then after that i will explain you complete concepts which is related to apartment building scheduling by using primavera p6 software then after that i will explain you the concept related to commercial building by using primavera p6 software scheduling in the course and next one which is related to multi story building scheduling and updating of the scheduling in primavera p6 software these are the total topics i was covered in primavera p6 software course okay hope you understand the basic introduction to the primavera p6 software course and what are the different topics i was covered in primavera p6 software course dear students the people those who are subscribe to our primavera p6 software course we can continue from the next lecture which is related to the complete downloading process as well as the installation process of primavera p6 software and you can continue for the courses and if you obtain any queries regarding the course or content or any doubts regarding the primavera p6 software course you can once ping me to my whatsapps the complete whatsapp number is available in the pdf you can collect my number so that you can able to get the complete uh, replays from my whatsapp number regarding the doubts okay so thank you for watching this video and uh, after completion of the course once update me to my whatsapp number and i will send you the complete google form uh, which is related to the primavera p6 software course then only you can able to get the certificate for the primavera p6 software course thank you for watching this video we will see from the next class thank you